Yo, YouTube, how y'all doing? Your boy Tecmo here again, back with an update on the JBL Under Armour heart rate monitoring wireless headphones that I did an unboxing and review on a few days ago. And I just want to bring a couple things to you guys' attention about these headphones. Okay, so I'm still not thrilled with the way that they sound, okay? They don't sound terrible, but I'm not blown away by any means. I still think that the highs and mids on these are probably about a seven, and I'd say the bass is probably about a six to a 6.5, because when I'm in the gym, I really want a pair of headphones that are gonna pump some bass out and output at a high level, and these just don't seem to get that loud compared to other headphones that I've reviewed and used in the gym. Um, the sound is okay. That's, that's how I can describe it. You know, it's not terrible. I'd say it's a little above average is what I would say. But again, this comes with a lot of different features that other headphones do not have these stick in my ear probably better than 90% of the earbuds that I've tried out in the gym. I mean, this hook and the technology, the twist lock technology, I, I couldn't get them to fall out of my ears at all. It didn't matter how sweaty I was, they didn't fall out, I didn't have to fidget with them, they just stayed in place very good. So I give them a nine out of 10 on the fit and the design. The heart rate monitor seemed to be pretty accurate because when I use the elliptical and I would hold on the left earbud to search for my heart rate, it was always within one to two points of what the elliptical said. So I would say it's pretty accurate and I didn't have any issues with it searching for my heart rate. I only a couple times had to readjust, but other than that, it was pretty good with finding the heart rate. It worked as advertised, so I give it a thumbs up on that and the app again and I realize that it's probably called the Under Armour record because you can record all of your data in there I was probably wrong on that so <laughs> I correct myself this time the Under Armour record I'll just show you guys a little bit more in depth what you can do in here if you touch on your nutrition you can log your nutrition and what you ate today if you go back and you your activity you can put how many steps you want to take today here you can put your goal of how much you want to work out and then you can start your workout and there's a community feature on here so you can kind of challenge yourself based on other people and their challenges and see how good you do compared to other people with similar workouts so that's cool and you can also go down here and you can also have like a little community. You can have friends and followers. You can do a lot of different things in this app. So taking that into consideration, I mean, I think these headphones are gonna be good for a lot of people. I wish the sound was a little bit better. I wish they could get a little bit louder and had a little bit more bass. I mean, I can deal with the highs not being as crisp as some others, but I mean, I really need the bass and I need the volume to be louder when I'm in the gym, you know, because you need that intensity. But I say the whole package, I think these are a good set of headphones for somebody that is a gym enthusiast or somebody that does a lot of heavy workout. Just for me, I need the loudness. So I don't think that these hit the mark for me in, that, in terms of that, but all together, I think that they're gonna be a good pair of headphones for people that are searching for these features because, I mean, if you put the package all together, the app, uh, its ability to be connected to the Under Armour band, the fact that it's sweat proof, the fact that you have the heart rate monitor, I mean, there's a lot of features there. So, I mean, you do lose a little bit on the sound in my opinion, but you gain a lot in other departments. And on the battery life, I haven't gotten them to go dead yet. I used them in the gym for four days and I did about an hour worth of work each time. So, I mean, they still look like they have about 25% battery. So the five hours worth of playtime is probably accurate. They haven't gone dead yet, but on my phone, it looks like it's about a quarter full. So I would say the five hours is probably accurate. And the range is pretty good on these as well. When I took uh, my phone and put it in my kitchen and walked upstairs, which is I don't know, maybe 10 15 yards away 
they didn't crackle much. Uh, they did seem like they're losing connection a little bit, but they never disconnected. I think the range is probably on par with other headphones in this price range, you know. It didn't disconnect altogether. Like I said, once I got upstairs for a little bit, it crackled, but afterwards, it was just like I was right next to my phone. So I think the range is pretty good on these as well. Again, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or you can hit me up on Twitter at Tecmo561 and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Until then, guys, Tecmo out. Hope you have a great day.